Hi, Chris Biffle, Coach B, with a three-step lesson on numerators and denominators. First step, it's always easy. Just ask a question. What's a numerator and a denominator? And here's the answer. In a fraction, a numerator shows some of the parts of a whole. A denominator shows all of the parts of a whole. In a fraction, a numerator shows some of the parts of a whole. A denominator shows all of the parts of a whole. That's our answer. Now let's expand it. Third step. What do we have here? The chocolate train. The chocolate train is going to take us to Candyland, where we're going to make some chocolate fractions. Oh, that's going to be fun. Watch this chocolate train as it goes to Candyland. There, it's gone one of the seven parts of the whole trip. Two of the seven parts of the whole trip. Three of the seven parts. Four of the seven parts. Now it's five of the seven parts of the whole trip. There's six of seven parts and seven of seven parts. You see, that chocolate train is teaching us about fractions before we even got to Candyland. Check it out. Denominator shows the whole trip. You see? All the sevens there, it's all the same number because it's only one trip. That's the whole trip. The numerator shows us one, two, three, four, shows us some of the parts of the whole trip. So denominator stayed the same, whole trip. Numerator changed as we went through some of the parts of the trip. Yeah, that's good old chocolate train. Wonder what's gonna happen when we get to Candyland. Oh, uh, we're in Candyland. There's that chocolate train and yeah, let's make some chocolate fractions. Yum, yum, yum. There's two of four parts of our chocolate, little chocolate box. I wonder how we'd show that as a fraction, two of four parts. Numerator two, that's sum of the whole. Denominator four, two of four parts. Let's do it again. That was fun. Well, there's more chocolate. There's three of the pieces of chocolate, three of eight parts. What would that look like as a fraction? Three of eight. Numerator three, denominator eight. You get it? One more time, this is fun. Aha, uh -huh. there are six. That's some of the whole bunch of chocolate. Six of nine pieces of chocolate. Numerator six, denominator, the whole group is nine. Six of nine. Ah, uh, whoa, that looks so yummy. There are three, six, nine, twelve. There's twelve parts of the whole. And in the whole, there's sixteen pieces of chocolate. So, twelve of sixteen. Twelve is some, sixteen is all. So in a fraction, a numerator shows some of the parts of the whole. A denominator shows all of the parts of a whole. So if you love candy, you'll love fractions. Now, let's do a little deep thinking. Could a fraction have a denominator for the top number, 
and a numerator for the bottom number. What do you think? Yes. No. Think about it. For now, it's Coach B signing off saying power to the kids. <laughs>